So today I wanted to share with you a $4 microphone desk stand shock mount pop filter combo and just pretty much put them words in eBay and you'll see them. So this was $4 on eBay. It took like a month to get here. It was packaged pretty nicely. So that surprised me. It came in a box and all the different pieces were kind of individually wrapped up. So I made sure when I ordered this that it came with a double pop filter, a double layered pop filter. Because I had a single layer pop filter at one time and it didn't really work that good. And something I learned from that one is that you can't put the pop filter too close to the microphone. Else all the plosives and stuff will get in it still. And you'll hear like other things like the wind from your breath and all that hitting the pop filter. Stuff like that. There's a little nut on the end of that rod that holds the pop filter. And I think that was the hardest part of this whole thing, how to put it together. It took me a good like couple minutes just to figure out how to tighten that thing. You pretty much got to hold the whole rod and the nut all together with one hand and then tighten up the pop filter because you got to screw that on to the rod. So you got to tighten up the pop filter against that nut, making sure it don't move. And then you also got to make sure you're getting the angle right on it. So it's a little tricky at first. And because it took me so much, I didn't feel like really showing myself doing it again because I didn't want to take it apart and not have to redo it all again. But I'm sure you'll figure it out. There was no instructions included, so it's pretty much like, okay, this goes here, this goes there. So the way these things kind of work is there's like two nets, and what you do is you insert your microphone through the nets in the rubber, so it holds on to the microphone and it grips it. And you gotta like unplug your cable from the microphone to kind of get it in there, or else you're gonna like be feeding the whole cable through it, which is pointless, so just unplug it, make it easier. The rod that holds the pop filter is adjustable. There's a little screw on the top of it, and when you loosen that screw, you can adjust the rod back and forth for the pop filter, and basically, there ain't that much room to adjust it, because the rod's kind of short, but um, it's pretty much enough for me. I have a dynamic microphone, so I got to be real close to it anyway, but when I didn't have my microphone all the way into the net, I kind of had it sticking out just a little bit, you know, because you could push it all the way in. I guess pretty much until you get to the grill of the microphone. I guess depending on your microphone, I don't know. But you can see the style of my microphone in the pictures and in the videos. After a certain point, because the microphone starts small and gets bigger and bigger as it goes to the top, you know, it starts getting a little too tight on that um, on that rubber. So I could probably force it to go further, but I ain't going to do that. There's no need to do it. And basically the way I got it set up right now in this recording that you're hearing is if you put your first and your second finger together, that's the distance I got between the microphone and the pop filter. And then I'm talking right up to the pop filter where my basically my nose is touching the plastic or just barely touching. But you can experiment with whatever distance works for you and your microphone. Maybe you don't exaggerate your p sounds as much as I do and you don't need it so far away. I don't know. But yeah, I gotta say it's definitely working better than the single layer pop filter I had at one time. Then again, I had that for the Blue Yeti back when I owned that microphone, but I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. That microphone popped a lot, and so does this one, and I'll give you a short example of this. So if I talk at the same distance without the pop filter, this is what it sounds like without it. Um, all I did was just kind of turn up. <laughs> you can hear all the p -p -p sounds on it, and all my other sounds that have breathy noises like um, F sounds sounds especially them they, gosh they exploding in my earphones right now but yeah so back to back Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and then this is with the pop filter Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers so what I love about this thing it was only four bucks okay that's what I love about it but also the fact that I'm getting a pop filter for under like 10 bucks because them things I can't find them for under 10 bucks on their own but when I get this kind of thing, they come with the little pop filter and they come with the stand and everything all in one, shock mount and all that. It's four bucks you can get them on eBay. I mean, you gotta wait a month to get it, but you know, because from China. But I am totally satisfied with it. I mean, I can talk directly on axis with this microphone where before, <laughs> no, like you heard it when I took out the pop filter. You heard the example. I'm gonna do it again for you. All right, again, this is without the pop filter. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's terrible. I'm at the exact same distance away. But yeah, as far as the legs go, you can't really adjust the legs or anything. 
they kind of just fall all the way down as far as they can go. Like the weight of your microphone's going to push them down. Okay, let me put the pop filter back on. I'm sorry. thought I would just demonstrate that again. So you can see in the pictures where I have it disconnected. So the leg part and the other half of it kind of screw into each other. Then they're um, threaded. And I think what this means is you could use the top part on um, like a boom stand or something or some other kind of holding device if you didn't want to use the legs or, you know, you wanted to use the shock mount on something else. I mean, I guess this is technically a shock mount because it's got the rubber and it ain't really connected on any of the plastic or metal or anything. So I guess this qualifies as a shock mount, right? I've never owned a shock mount before. And from what I understand, they keep it so any tapping or whatever on your desk or whatever ain't going to transfer through to your microphone. And I tested that a little bit. And when I was watching the dB meter, like the volume meters, I saw it fluctuate every time I tapped. So it was picking it up. But it was such a small amount that when I played it back, it, I couldn't even hear it. So I guess it's doing something because I know the Blue Yeti, when I owned that one, every tiny tap, I mean, you could tap on it so light and it would pick it up. I don't know if that's the difference of, you know, this is a dynamic microphone and the Yeti was a condenser, which is known to pick up everything. But I don't think that's anything to do with it because I could tap on the microphone right now. Yeah, and you hear it. I can hear that. So, yeah, it must have been working. Hey, I didn't do no scientific tests for you, but well, there you go. You can adjust the angle of it, too. You can aim it up and down. Something I was worried about when I bought it was would my microphone, because it's kind of a heavy microphone, would it weigh down the thing and just kind of topple itself over? And I got to say, that's nowhere near happening. So, yeah, overall, I would say absolutely worth four bucks. I mean, just for the pop filter alone to get it for four bucks, you can't get that any cheaper anywhere else. I don't think so. Unless you build one yourself, I guess. But I wasn't willing to do that. And I don't know how either. <laughs> There's a bunch of different variants of this. Some have plastic legs. Some have longer pop filters. Some have gooseneck pop filters. It all depends what you want. But the one I got came with the smaller pop filter. It's smaller than the normal ones that you see with the gooseneck and everything. And I actually like that because I can see past it. <laughs> it's like just big enough to cover my nose and my mouth and that's it. That's all I need personally. I guess if you're singing and stuff and you're using a condenser microphone, you need the bigger one. I guess that's why they make them bigger because you're moving around and stuff and you ain't right up on the microphone usually, I guess. I don't know. I actually don't know. That's just my theory. But yeah, I mean, the size of this is perfect. I could see over it if I had notes or something I wanted to read while talking on this thing, I could see past it and read them, which is probably a good idea. Maybe I should be doing that. But yeah, the whole set for four bucks. That's like kind of a steal in my book. As far as like the quality of it, I feel like all the stuff is pretty sturdy. I don't feel like it's going to break or anything. The legs fold up and um, when you first unfold them, they're kind of like loose and they don't fully kind of click into place. But the microphone weighs them down anyway, so, I mean, it's just going to be where it's at anyway. So to me, that ain't a problem. And yeah, you could take this whole thing apart and make it, you know, into a bunch of pieces, make it nice and small, or if you want to travel with it or whatever. If I was going to throw it in a backpack, what I would do is just take the pop filter part of it off, like the whole rod out, and then I'd just throw a whole thing as it is in there. I think it'd be just fine. Like when I feel it, the plastic's real sturdy. I mean, I'm imagining this easily being 15, 20 bucks. And on top of that, you get the dual layer pop filter. Dang. To me, that's an absolute steal. So, yep, I'd totally recommend you getting this thing if you're having problems with the P sounds and whatever other breathing noises going into your microphone. And obviously, if your microphone's going to fit it, I use the Pile PD Mic 58, which is real similar to the Shure SM58, at least in physical form. But yeah, as you see, it works real good at eliminating the pop, popping sounds and the plosives and the breath sounds and everything. And that's really all I got it for was the pop filter, to be honest. All the other stuff was a bonus to me because I needed a pop filter for this thing. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing. And I think you will be, too, if you're looking for something. And the performance of the pop filter is everything I was hoping for.